We at Wansi Company and Shift 101, together with our international and local partners, are excited to bring you our first ever IT series. For our part one, we'll get to know more about Wansi Enterprise Platform. Other apps that I developed in Wansi Skillscam 2021 are Sojak Sign, my Wansi A Record version 1 and version 2 and my final project for SOS Retail Store Desktop and Mobile Version. 1C Skills Camp is a series of free trainings and skills competition for IT students and professional developers. Welcome to Hashtag 1C Enterprise, gearing up for 1C Skills Camp 2022 Part 1. Let's all learn, develop, improve the world, and show that hashtag skills matter. To give us an in-depth understanding of the 1C Enterprise platform, here is Eugene, the head of the Department of International Promotion of the 1C platform. My name is uh, Eugene Leshenko and I am from 1C company and I am responsible for international promotion of the 1C enterprise platform and educational activities for 1C developers. 
And uh, to begin this, I would like to say a few words about uh, one C company. Uh, for developers from Russia, it's uh, one of the most well-known IT companies uh, because more than one and a half million companies are already automated on one C products, and uh, more than uh, five million users work in our software. And also, there are more than three hundred thousand programmers who develop on the one C platform. Uh, but in uh, recent years, 1C has focused not only on the domestic market of Russia and neighboring countries, uh, but also on the global area. And uh, we included in various ratings of large consulting agencies such as Gartner and uh, Boston Consulting Groups, or for example, G2. And uh, 1C platform is activated in more than 100 countries. To show us a demonstration on 1C platform development, here is Tony, our chief mentor and course developer from 1C company. Hello everyone, uh, my name is Tony and I'm a chief learning manager in 1C. Now I'm going to show you in a short period of time what we can do using the 1C enterprise platform. We can say a lot about why do we need this platform, but first of all we need it for business application development. And that is what we are going to do. We have our products here with hierarchy and specified brands and product types. We have our purchases here and sales here. At last, we can run the report to see how many products we are left. That's how we create our first 1C enterprise application. Indeed, there is a lot of work to do. We can upgrade user interface, add more functions and so on. But for now, it is enough to show in such a short time what we can do using the 1C enterprise platform. Thanks for watching. Hello everyone. Once again, welcome to Hashtag 1C Enterprise, gearing up for 1C Skills Camp 2022 Part 1. Next week, we will start with the actual training and usage of 1C Enterprise platform, beginning with the training version. And here are the things that we need to prepare. This has been Hashtag 1C Enterprise, gearing up for 1C Skills Camp 2022 Part 1. Thank you very much. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. See, See you, you next week. week. doing fine so we at one C company and shift 101 together with our international local partners are excited to bring you our first ever it series so the objective of this series is to prepare you our participants in the next edition of one c skills camp so we are now on our episode three hashtag one c enterprise first session so one c enterprise platform uh training version session one so okay and we uh we are with our uh, Shift 101 team uh, later. Uh, hopefully, uh, 1C team could join us. And uh, good day to all the participants. So our topics for today, for today's program is uh, the first part of session one. Okay, so we'll be discussing the installation and, and we will be having a discussion on different terminologies of the 1C Enterprise platform. So next, we will be having a short break time and a gap where we will show you different one solutions 
uh, the overview of one platform and um, our uh, we call up and then afterwards we will be having the second set of uh, frequently asked questions and then the second part of our session one okay so we will be developing um, my money app okay and then uh, we will be discussing the incubase um, user interface and catalogs so both uh, first part and second part will take uh, less than one hour so we hope that you will enjoy our program today and the entire it series once again welcome and we look forward to working with you un until one c skills camp 2022 let's all learn develop improve the world and show that hashtag skills matter All right, so before we start with the actual training, I would like to do some introduction for our trainer. So our trainer is a professor, speaker, skills competition expert, both local and international. Uh, he has been a one C skills camp participant uh, on our first edition that's on last 2020 and then last year, 2021. And he is also the one C evangelist for Southeast Asia. Okay, so for some of you, um, uh you already met our uh, speaker okay so he's a professor as, as mentioned um he has been a, a colleague in one institution as an it instructor okay then he has been uh, a skills competition expert both local so that's with um here in the philippines and then uh, recently, uh, we've worked together in World Skills uh, 2017 in uh, Abu Dhabi. Okay. So he represented uh, the Philippines as an expert in web, uh, web design and development. And then uh, he, he was part of a Team Maharlika in uh, One C Skills Camp 2020. Okay, which was supposedly uh, be held face to face, but due to the pandemic, uh, it became an online competition. And then uh, last year was also online. Um, he was also a competitor in the professional category. So in uh, last 2020, um, um, the, the participants worked by team, a uh, group of three members. But uh, since uh, because of the online setup so it, we figured that last year we tried the, the participants would work individually okay so uh 2020 their the, their team won second place and then uh last year uh he also placed second uh in the professional category okay so it is um my honor to present uh, our uh, speaker for today, uh, my longtime friend and colleague, Mr. Rick Ricardo P. Enriquez Jr., our once evangelist in Southeast Asia. Sir Ricky. Okay, so good afternoon, sir. Good afternoon to all the participants. Uh, welcome to our uh, 1C Enterprise first session. Ayan. So let me first share my screen. So thank you, Sir Joey, for that uh, surprise introduction. You're welcome, sir. Okay. So this is my PowerPoint presentation. Okay, so once again, good afternoon, everyone, and uh, welcome to our uh, hashtag 1C Enterprise first session during up for 1C Skills Camp uh, 2022. So I hope uh, from this session, you will uh, learn the basic of our uh, platform and uh, understand what uh, can we do in uh, using 1C Enterprise platform. Yeah, first of all, let me... Uh, 
ano uh, what do you feel right now so how do you feel right now before we begin our uh, session or our topic discussion yeah, you can uh, go to this link no po, on your browser classpoint.app so that i can collect your answer uh, using this code 27846 uh, you may scan uh, this qr code using your mobile phone so that you can uh, answer or participate to answer in our uh, given question Yeah. So my question is, how do you feel right now? And yeah. so before we start, and yeah. so let's wait for the others to join. So how many participants uh, are in right now, Sir Carlo or Sir Joey? Yeah. Uh, we are uh, thirty all in all, Sir. Thirty, 30. participants, including us. <laughs> yeah. So I'll start the uh, ano. And so one, two, three, four, five, six. We have six uh, participant. Na uh, or seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. So thirty three zero, sir. Yes, sir. But I include uh, including us three. So let's say twenty seven. Twenty seven participants. All in all. Okay, so thank you for the answer of nine participants. So I set the timer in 60 seconds. So we have uh, 13 seconds left. Only nine participants are joining to answer the question. So I'll try to add another 15 seconds. Maybe uh, there is a challenge on their parts. Uh, in their uh, internet connection it's, uh, because I see that there are some still joining. So some uh, answered nervous, excited, feeling good, yeah, excited. Ayan. So only uh, 12 participants answered. So uh, the most uh, answered is excited. So everyone is here is excited to learn about 1C Enterprise platform. And it's a good thing that to know that you are happy to know uh, and uh, learn about 1C Enterprise platform. So for this session, uh, we're going to discuss about the infobase configuration and catalogs for us to deeply understand what is 1C Enterprise platform. But as, as we go along, no, if we move with the once, uh, our uh, 1C skills come, no, you, you may learn more deeper doing sa, in our uh, 1C Enterprise platform. Okay? So what is 1C Enterprise Platform? So 1C Enterprise Platform is a universal cloud and on-premise system of programs for automating a company's financial and wider operational activities. So mainly, uh, 1C Enterprise Platform focuses on business application. Now, uh, we cannot do uh, games here or other uh, uh, programming language can do because uh, once enterprise platform really focus on a uh, business application but one good thing here in once enterprise platform is uh, it uses low code platform for fast and flexible software development so we still need to code but uh, the code is uh, already or automatically created by the system and what we can do is to add a code only if uh, that logic is not uh, suited for that uh, created by the system. And then it built easily to modify applications with a uh, wide functional scope. No. So why a uh, wide functional scope? Because uh, as we move along with this uh, discussion, uh, you will know why. 
we can build easy to modify applications with the wide functional scope. So in using one C enterprise platform, it is like a building blocks. No? So from where if we put them together, we can build a one application. So once the enterprise has a powerful back end, why? Because uh, using one code, we can uh, deploy it in any platform like Windows, Linux, Mac, iOS, Android, and of course, in our web browser using only one code. So that is great. So one code, any scale from a small app uh, using one user or uh, even thousands of concurrent users, no, especially in our uh, uh, in uh, one CERP. No, uh, it is already made and then the company will implement only that system using the ERP. So one code, any DBMS, we can use here My S MySQL server, uh, PostgreSQL, SQL, Oracle, IBM, and DB2. Yeah. So I already mentioned that we can use it in using a cross-platform ar architecture using Windows uh, application, uh, Linux and Mac OS, even our uh, browser and uh, Android, iOS, and yung, uh, our uh, Windows version natin. Yeah. So uh, once the enterprise resources, I hope uh, you already get our uh, training version that we can use for this uh, session. Uh, the version is 8.3.19.1229 using this link, www.1c-dn.com. Uh, I hope you go the, uh, to this site. Yeah. So if you go to this site, oncdasdn.com, you can see the home page and the button here, the download free trial, or you can directly use yung the sign up uh, button here. But because I have already my account in uh, oncdasdn.com and it is already logged in, no, uh, you may click now this uh, download free trial so that you can download the uh, right version for your operating system. So for me is Windows. So if you have Linux or Mac OS, you can download that uh, version uh, for you to run the uh, 1C Enterprise platform. So if you click the Windows or the trial version, then uh, it will uh, download. So I hope everyone already download this uh, application because it uh, the, the file size is 362 MB. But if you have a faster internet connection, you can download it in uh, just a minute, uh, five to 10 minutes maybe, or, or it depends on your uh, internet speed. Okay, so if ever you, uh, you don't, uh, have the in, uh, installer yet? No, you may download it later. Or while we are uh, discussing, you you may continue the download. So after you download the uh, application, okay, let's wait. Okay, so we may now install our uh, downloaded installer of a uh, 1C Enterprise platform. By the way, and so there are other links that I provided here no, about uh, knowledge base. Uh, if you want to learn more besides uh, to this uh, tutorial and what uh, our uh, Sir Tony uh, demonstrate from the last session. Now you may, you may go to this link, it's last library. There are uh, some examples that you can uh, use to learn more about 1C, uh, how to use 1C Enterprise platform. And you may join the forum. Uh, but if you have uh, questions that you need to find some answer, 
So you may get, you may join to the forum, forum using your uh, account in onecdasdn.com. Okay, so getting started. So we're going to install our one C enterprise platform. So if ever, so you know who among the participants has no uh, installer yet, and you may chat using the chat box so that uh, you can assist by uh, our team. Okay, so we're going to, to start the installation of the 1C Enterprise platform and upon waiting the installation, uh, we're going to discuss some of the terms that we may encounter using the platform. Uh, and then we're going to create the, our uh, My Money application and we're going to familiarize ourselves with the interface or environment of the 1C Enterprise platform. Okay, so here's the install installer. Okay, so you may open the training 8, 3, 19, 12, 29, and then look for the setup. So look for the setup, that exe, and then you may double click the set up application. Okay, so we're going to do the step-by-step -step installation of this uh, application. So this uh, small window will appear or on your screen. And then what we're going to do is to click next. And then whatever is uh, highlighted there, just click next. So it will install under program files using this path. Just uh, click yes, sir. Yes, sir. Sir, yung installer, ay yung dito. Yung naka-view sa Zoom, hindi po ata yun yung nakalagay. Hindi po naka-share. Sorry, sir. I think uh, naka-show, naka naka-show, sir, yung, ano, yung PowerPoint pa din. So, let's... Uh, naka-share lang po ako ng, ano, ng PowerPoint. Sorry. Okay. Hmm. Apa. Ah, yeah, yeah. Mga pala. Thank you, sir, Ricky. And... Okay, na po. Okay, sir. Thank you. Okay, so just click next. When you see this screen, set select default interface language. So we we have no options to select. Just click next, and then click install. And so while we are waiting for the finished installation, let us this uh start some of the uh, terms that we may encounter in using a 1C enterprise platform. But the installation is very fast. Uh, just let us start the platform. Okay. Where are we now? Yeah. So getting started. Oh, just the installation only. We, we have uh, how many minutes to break, sir? So we're going to wait for the final installation. Oh, it's already finished. Uh, do we need to have a break, sir? Or we're going to continue? Uh, yeah, so, it's okay, sir. Okay, sir. So just let us know, sir, if our participant already uh, installed their uh, 1C Enterprise platform, or is there any problem that they may encounter so that we can help them before we start the uh, uh, training? And you, you may chat using the chat box.
Uh, yes, please uh, just let us know, participants, if uh, you're currently installing or you have installed or did you encounter any problems with the installation. So just uh, um, write on the chat box. Thank you very much. Okay, any problem in installation? Okay, wala naman po, sir. Done with the installation. Thank you for your answer. So we're going to have how many minutes break, sir?
first step of frequently asked questions for 1C Skills Camp. Who can participate in 1C Skills Camp? The camp will be good for IT students, beginner, and professional developers who speak English and have some experience with programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, and etc. What are the long-term benefits for participants? Aside from cash prices, international certificates, and job opportunities, participants Here are first set of frequently asked questions for 1C Skills Camp. Who can participate in 1C Skills Camp? The camp will be good for IT students, beginner, and professional developers who speak English and have some experience with programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, and etc. What are the long-term benefits for participants? Here are first set of frequently asked questions for 1C Skills Camp. Who can participate in 1C Skills Camp? The camp will be good for IT students, beginner, and professional developers who speak English and have some experience with programming languages like Java, C Sharp, Ruby, and etc. What are the long-term benefits for participants? Aside from cash prices, international certificates, and job opportunities, participants will have the chance to join World Skills Asia and University Skills in Russia. Students will have role as competitors and professional as experts. These credentials will be very useful in future endeavors. Why does it take five months to finish the camp? First, the main objective is to build a community app. We all know that developing apps will take some time. Second, the stages. We will have the basic training, advanced training, application development, and finally, the skills competition. Just like any other competition, you really need to prepare to win. Third, another objective of the camp is to produce 1C full-stack developers. In order to achieve that objective, one must undergo rigid training. See you next week for another set of frequently asked questions. Training course and the senior developer training course. Okay, so from from that stage, we will get to know how easy it is to to develop a mobile app using one's enterprise platform. And then the next stage will be the actual development. So the main objective uh, or the theme of our One C Skills Camp is to build a community app. Uh, okay, to develop a community app. Of course, from the name itself, we will develop an app that will help a certain group or a, a certain community, okay? And then uh, the last stage will be the skills competition. So uh, the participants, uh, the final participants will uh, be able to, to present their work, their app, okay? 
on how they interpreted uh, the uh, the application. Okay. Okay. So yeah. So uh, Boise Skills Camp 2022 uh, it has the training, uh, the development, and competition. Okay. So to make it short, gearing up is some of the prepare the preparation. Okay, so to familiarize uh, participants with 1C platform, while uh, 1C Skills Camp 2022 is, is, is the competition, the battle itself. Okay, so what are the prices uh, in the 1C Skills Camp 2022? Okay, so at the end of our uh, IT series, which is gearing up for our 1C Skills Camp 2022. So participants will have the option to proceed in 1C Skills Camp 2022. So we are targeting everyone to proceed in the camp. Okay. So the prices, so we have cash prices from the very beginning. So when you finish the basic training uh, stage, so you will have a cash price. Top participants will have an additional cash prices. And then uh, for the second one, uh, for the advanced training, so we will have uh, almost double the, the price. And then same, so we will be having um, uh, additional prices for top participants. And then for the actual development, Okay, so uh, this is the time that you'll develop your app, okay? And then up to the skills competition. So we will be having a cash prices at the end of the competition where we will select the third, uh, second, and first place. So we will be, be having two categories, that's a student and professional category, okay? And in between, uh, in between the advanced training and uh, Okay, uh, but that, that is part of the opportunities. Okay, so for the prices, that's it. So you'll be having cash prices uh, in the basic training, uh, additional when, you, when, you have, when you'll be the top participant, and then advanced training, and then the skills competition. Okay. So uh, what are the benefits and opportunities? So aside from uh, gaining international certificate for your portfolio, so the benefits will be uh you and opportunities could be you could uh join international competition so uh between advanced training and the actual development so it will be that is uh, sometime august so we'll be having the world skills uh asia competition so selected participants uh will be uh be able to join the international competition so for the students uh, you have the opportunity to become a competitor representing your country, and the same with the professional, except that you will be you will, you will act as an expert. Okay, so, so you will be uh, representing your country as well. So we will be under the IT software solutions uh, skills area, IT software solutions for business. And then another opportunity is, uh, is the inter internship or training uh, in 1C company as well as the uh, uh, camp partners. And also, uh, aside from internship, it's also the job opportunity. So you, you can be absorbed by uh, 1C company and our partners. So if you have any concerns, uh, just... Uh, Please message on the chat box. And then hopefully, uh, please let us know as well if, if you didn't receive any invitation via email. So on our email, um, the, the technical support groups are indicated. So we have our technical support group in WhatsApp and Facebook private group. So um, 
we hope that uh, everyone is, has installed the Wansi platform properly. Okay, while waiting, so we will be having uh, some uh, gaps um, uh, about information, more information about 1C platform and 1C solutions. Please stand by. Thank you very much. Stay ahead of the competition, successful companies bet on custom-built applications that easily adapt to rapid change. Software development is moving away from cumbersome one-size-fits-all monoliths towards customized solutions built using ready-made blocks and toolkits. Rapidly building out high-quality custom IT systems is a challenge. How can you combine speed, flexibility, and robust features that meet the client's business needs with 1C Enterprise? The 1C Enterprise platform was created to meet the demands of the coming decade. Thanks to a wide range of innovative tools, applications created with 1C Enterprise can automate a vast spectrum of business tasks and quickly adapt to changing processes. 1C Enterprise applications work in the cloud, on all major desktop and mobile operating systems, scale from one to thousands of users, and adapt on the fly. Developers can create their own applications, adapt third-party ones, and integrate with applications created outside 1C. High-speed development is enabled by a predetermined data structure oriented towards performing business tasks, combined with a low-code development environment, which uses visual editing for a wide range of development cases. All code-based development is done using a high-level domain-specific language in a conceptual model that closely approximates business processes. Most routine development tasks are performed by the platform automatically, so developers can focus on implementing business logic. This allows developers to build corporate systems that precisely match their clients' needs. Data access control is built in at the platform level. Permissions are configured for every object created. Development can be carried out without access to the client's database. Visual development, easy integration of new and existing solutions. These and other tools significantly reduce the time needed to develop corporate scale business solutions. Over 1.5 million businesses and organizations use 1C Enterprise based software. With 7,000 partners creating, implementing, and supporting solutions created on the 1C Enterprise platform. Join a massive developer community. Start creating and implementing your own business applications with 1C Enterprise.
Okay, so we are now uh, ready to proceed uh, on the uh, first part of our session one. Sir Ricky. Okay, welcome back again, Sir Joey. And so I hope uh, all the participants already uh, installed their uh, 1C Enterprise platform. And so besides uh, using the site in downloading the link, so we have already we already have this uh, Google Drive uh, that uh, we can share to you. Uh, because uh, I also put some uh, resources. I'll get the link. Okay, so you may go uh, using this uh, link so that you can get uh, some uh, few images that we can use in uh, our uh, application. And you, I already we, uh, chat in our uh, chat box. So you can go to this link and get these training resources. We have uh, four images that uh, uh, we can use in our uh, demo application. Okay, so let us start our uh, training using the 1C Enterprise platform for our session two. So uh, we're going to create our first 1C Hello World as uh, we do the Hello World in other uh, programming languages. So let us see how uh, easy to create a 1C Hello World using a 1C Enterprise platform. So using your uh, desktop, you may click uh, Start and then look for your uh, installed 1C uh, Enterprise training version. So you can click Start and then look for a 1C Enterprise training version. So click this icon. Then let us wait for uh, this uh, small window to appear. Now in your uh, window, uh, the info bases, uh, we have here the info bases and some buttons. So let us discuss it one by one. So in your uh, screen, uh, it is empty. But in my case, I uh, have uh, some uh, info bases created already before this training. So that's why there are some uh, info base that you can see. No? So on your part, that is black or empty no? info base. So we have different buttons here, the one C enterprise, the designer, and we have here add, change, remove, customize, and then the exit button. Of course, if we click the exit button, it will exit. So we cannot see what is uh, inside the one C enterprise. No? These two buttons above, the 1C Enterprise and the Designer, if you click this button, if you have already the info bases created, uh, it will bring to the end user. Uh, the end user, the one who used your uh, created application, or in 1C, it is called as Applied Solutions. So this is for the end user. And this second button, the Designer, is for us, a developer, who, who who want to create or develop a 1C enterprise applied solutions no? so in this area. But in our case or in your case, you we don't have any info base yet, so we cannot uh, go yet to 1C enterprise or even in the designer. So the very first thing that we must do is to create our info base. So what is info base? In 1C enterprise, no. Uh, if we create an info base, uh, 
we have two uh, things that we already uh, need to create. Now, the, the database and the application itself. Now, uh, at one info base. So unlike with the other programming languages that we need uh, other uh, or third party application for databases. But in once enterprise, it is uh, already uh, bought in info bases. All the uh, database and the uh, uh, interface that we need to create for our end user or to create our uh, program. Okay, so let us click at button. Then this two, a screen will appear. No, it, uh, it, it will ask to add info base or folder. No, uh, we have two options, create info base or add info base. So in our case, since this is our first time and this is our first info base that we're going to create. So we need to create our info base. So click next and then Another screen, uh, we must choose the second option, create an info base without a configuration to develop a new configuration or restore a previously dumped info base. So select this second option to create our own uh, info base, then click next. Now it will ask you about the name of the info base or the folder. So for us as a developer, in order to easily understand what uh, application or program we are going to create, no, we must name it based on our preferred uh, name of the application. So in our case, we're going to create the My Money app. So let us name it as My Money. My money and yeah. so there is also an option but only the this computer or LAN uh, computer is enabled because we are using a trial version or training version the once the enterprise server is not active and it's okay because we can create our uh, application for our computer and for the mobile version so so the option is okay. So just click next after typing the info base name. Okay, so just take note the info base name that we given, the my money. Then after clicking the next button, there is also a directory, a directory that we need to specify. So where this info base should be saved, it's under this path, C. Uh, slash users teacher on my computer but on your computer it is uh, different no? but what is important here is the name of the info base at the end no? the info base name here is info base 16 because i have uh, created i already created info base name 1 to 16 but for us so that we can easily under uh, recognize what what is the content of the info base? No, we must name it as related to our application also without spaces. So I may use here the uh, my money without space. Or you may use capital letter like this one. So it is under uh, my documents folder. So the info base file will be saved under my money or uh, folder, my money. Okay, so after typing it, the language default for me is English. If this, uh, this is different from your uh, screen, you may choose what uh, English language should be uh, no, uh, used for this application. Okay, so click next and then there are other information, just uh, click finish. Uh, do not uh, change everything in, uh, in this uh, window, just click finish. Okay, so by the way, uh, when you join the Once the Skills Camp, it will uh, discuss uh, further about this info base, how to create. So in our case, or for this tutorial, just follow my step. Okay, 
So I have already uh, my money folder. So I use the name uh, my money one hundred uh, name folder. So as you can see, no, uh, our info base area already have the info base my money. So let us check the documents. It is under the documents. So this is the folder I create during the setup. So here is the my money one hundred, and then. Here is the info base created by 1C Enterprise. So that is the uh, file for our info base. Okay. So just highlight the my money and then um, let us click now the designer mode. So this button designer, just click the designer mode. Okay, so let us discuss first the some uh, uh, info about InfoBase. So InfoBase is a single one C enterprise application. It contains not only the data, but also the program. Huh? So in one InfoBase, we have the database and we have the program itself. Or we called it as applied solution. So in one C enterprise, the output that we create or the program have, having our InfoBase, they name it as applied solution. So it is execu executed by the platform. So why applied solution? Because we are mainly focusing in developing a business application uh, with the uh, logic. Because uh, some, as, as we mentioned, this is a low code platform. Some codes as already or automatically created by the system. So what we're going to do is just to make some modification for the code for, for uh, the logic to fit in our uh, program or system. So there are already some uh, applied solution created by 1C Enterprise. Just as we mentioned before, we have already the ERP or the complete uh, accounting suit for uh, small and uh, mega businesses. No, the, so the, these two are what we call the applied solution. So the my money is also what we call the as the applied solution after creating the uh, the program uh, and used by our end user. Okay, so let us go with the interface. Okay, so since uh, we have already here in the interface of our 1C Enterprise platform. So we already also the info base created. So for example, uh, you update your uh, program in creating uh, the 1C Enterprise platform or there is an additional update. Now don't forget to have a backup of your uh, info base so that you can uh, uh, back to the original one if ever there is something happened with the latest or updated version of your uh, info bases. So to back up our uh, info base, we must go here in administration, no, under the menu, administration. Click administration and then we have here the dump info base and restore info base. So in uh, once enterprise, dump info base means uh, we need to back up, create a backup of our info base. And then if we want to restore that uh, previous version or the backup or the dump one, uh, we need to use the restore info base. So let us do the backup. No, you must do this uh, if you have an updates to your created program so that you have a backup of that info base. So let us done. So it's up to you where you want to put your uh, backup of your uh, info base. So don't ask me if where is that uh, backup. So it's up to you. You must know where, what, in what folder or where 
what, what path uh, will you save your uh, backup? Uh, it's up to you. No po? So for example, my money backup. Uh, if you want to have a date, so just put a date there. No, but uh, for me, it's enough. My money backup. That I will not really make it safe. So I already have my uh, backup of my info base. So dumping info base to file users, yeah, etc. Nakalagay naman. Uh, it's already written. Uh, where is the exact location or part of our backup files? No, my money backup training that DT. So the extension is point DT. Okay, so click OK. So how do we restore? Click administration and then click restore. Then look for that backup or dump file. My money demo. Wait, my money backup training DT. And then click open. And then click yes. So it will uh, restart and then it will open again. So that is how we're going to backup our database and restore our, uh, sorry, uh, back up our info base and restore our info base. No? Don't forget to do that every time you have an update with your uh, project using 1C Enterprise. Okay? Okay. So next one is the configuration. What is the configuration? Configuration is a set of developer-created objects, their properties, methods and behavior, algorithms which reflect enterprise business activities. A configuration is developed in designer mode. So for us, a developer, we need this uh, configuration. Why? Because as I mentioned earlier, it, it's like a building blocks that we need to uh, form or create and put together in order to uh, create the applied solutions. So this configuration is also uh, called the metadata window. So metadata window, because and it uh, uh, all things that we need in configuring our uh, application is already here. So we have uh, commons, we have constant catalogs, we have documents, etc. So that is a list of option classes that are used to create our database structure, user interface, and application business logic using this metadata window. All the objects here, uh, it's like a building block, then uh, if we put it together, it will give us an output of our uh, applied solution using 1C Enterprise platform. Okay. So how do we see or... Uh, uh, this, uh, display the configuration window. So you, under the menu, you file edit configuration at the lower part, you will see this button. This one. Yeah, you may you can toggle it on and off to display the configuration window. Okay, so this, just click this open configuration and it will uh, display the configuration window. If you click the close configuration, it will hide the configuration object here. No? Okay, so we have uh, different uh, metadata here. Uh, as I mentioned, common constant catalogs, documents, document journals, enumeration reports, etc. So in one skills Skillscam, you will learn all of these uh, meta uh, data objects, uh, how, how we can use them in our, or in creating our uh, applied solutions using 1C Enterprise Platform. Now in other programming languages, like uh, that we know, like uh, Visual Basic or Java, no, there is what we call property palette. Now, from where no, the property palette helps us to set up some uh, configuration or properties of that object 
or data related to that object. Okay, like for example, the font size, the font color. Okay, so the font size and the font color. Okay, so take note about the name here, configuration on our uh, metadata object window. Now, it it, it name uh, automatically configuration, but we can change it to our uh, name of application in our case, that is my money. So just double click the configuration highlighted by the by blue color and it will display our properties. So all objects here have a properties like this. No? Uh, it depends on the uh, class object. So the options could be changed here, but as our configuration for our uh, uh, module that we're going to create, so let us name it as my money, my money without space, just use capital letter and small letter uh, without space. Then when you press tab, the synonym will be displayed as my money with space. So that is synonym. What is that name and what is that synonym? Uh, by the way, in 1C Enterprise platform. So when we use name in 1C Enterprise, no. And in 1C Enterprise, name is the main property of any configuration object. So any, no, as, as we mentioned, uh, we have uh, many different uh, object here, uh, catalogs, documents. So that is uh, So we need to name it uh, uniquely. How do we understood or understand the, that object clearly? Uh, uh, instead of having a catalog one, catalog two, catalog three, or document one, document two, document three, or configuration one, configuration two. So just name it uniquely, but with or, or meaningfully. Uh? There, there is a meaning for us, or for us to easily understand for, uh, what is that object, okay? So tips, change it to a name that makes sense to you. You can choose any name, provided that it begins with a letter and does not contain certain special characters. So mga special characters like question mark as asterisk is not accepted to use under name, no? And then again, synonyms, it stores an alternate description of configuration object. Oh, alternate description only. So if you'll notice, we use name my money without space, but synonyms you know, automatically uh, use the name but with space. So how space happens because of the capital letter that we use uh, for the name my and then money. So it considers by the system uh, when there is a capital letter, a small letter then followed by a capital letter, uh, the system will put a space for the synonym. So notes, no limitations uh, to the synonym format and you can always make synonym human readable. So human readable, easily to understand, especially for us, a developer. No, uh, even we are a new developer for 1C, we can easily understood the, the created application, okay? So if you have a question, just approach us, approach me. Just chat, uh, type your question using the chat box. Okay, so we already named the my money. So as I mentioned, there in properties, you can set also other settings here. No, but later we can do this or in one C skills camp it will discuss everything what is in the properties as you move along with the courses okay 
So that's it for now. We use name and synonym for our configuration. So my money. So we already have our uh, hello world for uh, one C skills. Uh, for one C enterprise uh, platform. No. So that is already our first one C hello world. So let us save. So don't forget if you you edit or update something in in your uh, application. So there is uh, an icon like a database with a green arrow. Just click that for, to save the or update the database configuration. Every time uh, you make changes to your uh, configuration, don't forget to update it. Now, by the way, in this one, basically we press F5 to debug our application. So in once enterprise, we can also use F5 to debug our uh, application. No, so click debug, or then click start debugging, or just press or click F5 on your keyboard so that you we can see the uh, applied solutions from where that is for the end user. Okay, so when you debug or when you press F5, it will bring us to the 1C Enterprise platform itself. So this is the, the Hello World, our first Hello World for 1C Enterprise. So what is the code? Here is the name of the configuration that we, we created under the properties using the synonym, My Money. So it will display here. No, at the upper left corner. So here is the my money. Okay, any question before we continue to go further? Okay, so that is the two mode for our 1C Enterprise platform. Now we have the designer mode or the configuration. This one, the designer mode for us to use. And when you press F5 or run it to debug, it is the what we call the uh, 1C enterprise mode or the applied solution. So that is the two mode development environment in uh, 1C enterprise platform, the designer mode and the 1C enterprise mode. So why we need to run the 1C enterprise mode? So for us to debug, for us to see if we if that the logic that we need to run the program is suited to what we are expected. Okay, so that's why we need to use also the 1C enterprise mode to run or see the applied solutions that we're going to expect. Okay, so the 1C enterprise mode can, uh, can be run in uh, Windows, Linux, Mac OS, Android, and iOS. If you still remember that uh, when we uh, code, we can use it in any different uh, operating system. Use just using one code. So that is that's why uh, once enterprise clean that uh, faster uh, creation of uh application using 1c enterprise platform and uh, even they claim that uh, we can uh, use a business application in just a week or less uh even two weeks two, two weeks or within a week we have a uh 1c uh applied solutions created in 1c enterprise platform and that is very true if you know how to use 1C Enterprise, okay? Okay, so uh, let us meet another uh, class in uh, 1C Enterprise, that is catalogs. So where, where do we see the catalogs? Okay, so we're already through with the naming of our configuration. So there are lots of metadata here. 
No? So let us choose now the catalog. So the catalogs here is uh, after uh, constants. Yeah, so we have catalogs there. So what is the use of catalogs in 1C Enterprise? Catalogs is a configuration object used for managing list of data. So when we say uh, managing list of data uh, in creating a, a program or application using other language, how do you see catalogs in 1C Enterprise? Can I know your answer from the audience? And so let us see kung sino yung who wants to answer. And what, what do you understand about catalogs? Uh, upon defining uh, catalogs, so that is Use for managing list of data. Anyone from the participant can answer. What? How do you understand catalogs in One C Enterprise platform using other uh, language that we use to program or create our program? Anyone from the audience? And you may use your your. Microphone, yeah. but in the chat box, uh, according to Mika Jesa, that is a database. A list of information, according to Mal Hermijan Ivan. No? Information and database. But that's that's true. We when we use uh, uh, we, when we create our uh, info base, set our configuration, that is a database. No, but Particularly when we use catalogs, uh, Mal is, Hermi is uh, almost correct with uh, uh, his or her answer. Organize list, yes, list of information. Can, can you give me an example of that list information, uh, Mal, Hermi, John, Ivan? If, for example, where uh, we are creating a payroll system, if we create a payroll system, uh, what is that list of information that we're going to create a catalog using 1C Enterprise? Malhermi Jan Ivan. Payments. Mm. Payments. According to Ma'am Rosemary Avesha, employee name and ID. Okay, correct. So payments, maybe that is part of the transaction. No? When, when we do payments, that is already a transaction. So the answer of Ma'am Rosemary is very much a uh, expected answer. No? Catalogs, list of data, meaning if that information is consistently or frequently used by the user, now, we need to create that list of data. Now, for example, employee name. Employee name because if we create a payroll system, the employee is still the same. No, they, they will uh, The company will compute the, the number of hours of that employee, the number of days he worked or present for the job or within a week, within a month. No, we all we always access that data or information. So that's why we call it list of data. So we do the we do this or we create this using the catalogs in one C enterprise. So if we create an inventory, yeah. So last question: if if the inventory is our uh, application to create, no what list of data we need to create in catalog what is that ano yeah very good list of products or price yeah very good so you have the idea how to use catalogs now in 1c enterprise no? if we want to make a list of data that we that is uh, frequently used by the user to access that data or information, we need to use catalog. So in our case, uh, for inventory, we need products. 
if that is for pay payroll, we need a list of employee. But uh, for our uh, demonstration application, uh, we we create a my money app from where we need a list of accounts. Why list of accounts? Because in our my money, we monitor our cash. We monitor our bank accounts because that is our money. We also monitor our credit card. So that's why we create this My Money app for us individual to monitor our income and expenses later on. No, that is our main output. If you still remember the demonstration application that we show on the first uh, session, uh, first episode of our uh, one C enter uh, gearing up one C enter. Uh, for once the enterprise platform uh, uh, that 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 is list of data that we need to create the accounts and another is the categories why categories we can categorize it as income or expense okay so our first task here no, i will show you my my code uh, Okay, so that is code in one enterprise platform using the objects. No, so we we need to create these two catalogs, the accounts and categories. Yeah. So as I uh, explain, accounts. Uh, let us run this uh, up the, this uh, the output of this uh, configuration, the accounts and categories in one C enterprise. For you to understand. So, because here I already created the list of accounts and the list of categories. So, I, we have here the accounts and we have here the categories, accounts and categories. So, when we click accounts, so there is a list of accounts. As, as I mentioned, no? I have my bank account, I have my cash, I have my credit card, and if I have uh, uh, land money, to other people, that is uh, accounts that I can uh, use for accounts in this uh, My Money app. So it's up to you if you have uh, other accounts or other, uh, wait, other accounts that a source of your income. Uh, so that is in my case, I have bank account cash and credit card. So how do we use that? in catalog so how to create accounts so just right click the catalogs you can follow me right click catalogs and then click add uh, let us use the training version okay so this one for you to see so this is my example on the left side and this is the new one c enterprise training version Okay, so I have here the catalogs. I already changed the name of the configuration, my money. So let us move on with the catalogs. Just right click the catalogs and then click add. Or on your keyboard, click insert once you select the catalogs. So click and then add. Yeah. Okay, so when you click add, it will display another window like this no it all, always asks for a name when we add any uh, objects catalogs documents no our class so catalog one so again as i uh, mentioned before or earlier we must name that object uniquely or meaningfully no so in that case Instead of using catalog one, let us use accounts because we need a list of accounts. So that is, uh, we're going to name for our catalogs. Huh? Okay, so let us go back first dito sa ating uh, PowerPoint presentation for me to uh, clearly explain how to use the catalogs. So, in our case, we're going to create a record keeping system of our accounts and categories. So later on, uh, we do a transactions to record the movement of the money of our income and expense account, right? Then later, we, we need to analyze personal 
financial matters. So I already created our uh, metadata class from our catalog. So our catalog is our metadata class. And then our metadata object that we create is the accounts. And then the data itself, when, when I will show you later, now when we run our uh, uh, code in 1C Enterprise, we can add our data as cash, bank account, credit card. Okay, so that is what we call for catalog. That is our metadata class. Accounts is the metadata object, the object that we create, and then the, the data itself. Okay. So just click close. No? After naming and then click uh, press tab on your keyboard for the synonym to appear and then click close only. Click close. And now let us update our database configuration. Set. So I, I click this update database configuration. And then click F5 or click this button to debug again, to debug our system. So as you notice, there is now an accounts menu, no? accounts. Automatically, it appears here, accounts. So let us now click accounts for us to add the data. The data, okay. So we have no list of accounts here. Uh, that is the data or the information that you mentioned earlier. So let us now click the create button, create. So there is another window up here for us or help us to input a list of accounts. So first one is cash. No cash. So take note, there is two uh, field here already created by 1C Enterprise, the code and the description. So for the code, uh, we can leave it empty because it will uh, automatically uh, uh, create by the system. Or if you want to have your own code, it's up to you. No, it depends on the business if they have their, their uh, no. but in our case, let us leave it blank, just type a description for our account. So in our case, let us use cash. Now, we have different buttons here. No, save and close, save and then more action. So of course, if we click save, it will not close the this is small window, but it already saved. Uh, uh, cash as a list of accounts. No, it adds already here. No, and then at the same time, if you will notice at the right side, it has now a code of zero 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 one. So that is same. No, but if you click save and close, so it will save and then it will close the window, the small window. No. Okay. So let us now add another accounts. What is another accounts? For example, I have a bank, bank accounts. Then click now. Uh, let us now click uh, save and close. So it will add now another list of accounts. So I have now cash and I have have now bank accounts. So automatically the code is created. So if you want to personalize this code, it's up to you. No, but of course, if if, if you want it to happen, that is the time that we need to to have a additional code, no? Okay, uh, but for our uh, exercise, uh, we're, we're going to use a minimal code because we want to show to you that uh, even we're not coding, uh, we're, we're not using any single line of code, we can still create an application. It's, it is possible in one enterprise platform to have this kind of uh, application without writing any single line of code. No? So now the, our end user, they can now add the data or information as a list of accounts upon using the application. So let us now close this one. So that is uh, catalogs. No? We create or we make a list of accounts. Now the other one, as as I said, no, we're going to use a categories. Categories. So what is the categories? So let us run this example for you to, to see. 
what is the content of categories or the data or the information needed by our uh, end user. So we have here folder expenses and folder income. Okay, so under expenses, we have appliances, fair food, etc. And then for the income, we have credit limit, part-time job, salary, tip, etc. So that is the source of our income. No? Uh, where that money came from? No? Maybe from your salary, from your part-time when you uh, uh, do the transaction for income and expense. No? But we are still in catalog. So how I create this uh, list of categories no? that has already uh, uh, what you call it? constant uh, folder expenses, income, and then the transfer. Okay, so this is very uh, different from, from the first one no, because from uh, catalog accounts, we only use the name, the name and the synonym. But this time we're going to use this option, other, no, other options in categories. Why? Because we need to create a predefined uh, uh, list of categories, the expenses and the income. Okay, so we're going to create there the list of categories there. Okay, so right click again, then add. And then let us type categories, categories, yeah, categories. Okay, so categories with S. Then let us go to hierarchy tab, hierarchy tab. So in hierarchy, because there is a folder and there is an item, so there is a uh, hierarchy that we need to use. So hierarchy, it will explain in once the enterprise uh, in once the skills come if you join. No folder and item hierarchy, and then we have item hierarchy. So we're going to use the folder and item hierarchy. As as what I have shown to you, there is a folder and then there is an item. No? Then you can also put a level limit for that hierarchy. But for this tutorial, just uh, check the hierarchy catalog and then choose the hierarchy type folder and item hierarchy. And then uh, for the data, again, wait. For others, sorry. So we're going to use this predefined uh, folder and item that we can put under expenses and income. So we have your folder for expenses and folder income and then the item transfer. So let us do this in our example. Okay, so going back here, now after setting up the hierarchy, uh, check this one and then choose folder and item hierarchy. Go to other. Then you will see here the button predefined. Click predefined. And then let us now add the folder name expenses. Let's go up here. The folder name expenses, the folder name income, and then the item transfer. So how do, how do we do that in our Once Enterprise platform? So take note of uh, uh, the button here, the plus sign with the green color, the circle button, and the plus sign green with the folder. No? So let us first add the folder. Hey, just give the name income. Correct? We use here income and expense then transfer. So type income. Even without the typing the description, it will auto it automatically created by once enterprise and once enterprise platform. So just click tab and then automatically the description is also an income. Then click Okay, so we have now this income folder here. So let us now add also uh, 
expenses and click tab is that correct expenses okay expenses ang uh, the one that i use no for naming the catalog item okay so we have here the expenses uh, so how this happened it it becomes under the income because i did not select the elements again no so but if this happens just just drag it Okay, just delete it na lang. Ayaw ma, ayaw ma drag, but it can be dragged. Supposedly. No? So click, it, uh, again, just click in the elements after creating the income folder and then type expenses as the name. Then click, okay. So that must be the order and the, the level of hierarchy. Uh, both expenses and income should be under these uh, elements. Okay? So if if the first one happens to you, no, just delete it. But it can be drag and drop. I, I don't know why it does not work here now. Uh, but you can delete and then you can create. That just don't forget to select elements. No? And this time we need to add the transfer. Okay, trans. Okay. So this time we're going to use the circle uh, the plus sign with uh, circle the green okay so click and then transfer okay click tab and then okay and then if you're done just close it close everything on your screen And so make it look like this and then update our database configuration then accept yeah so let us now run or see the output of the uh, category so we have now accounts and then we have now the categories so let us click the categories so this time no if you'll notice we have now two buttons create and then create group in accounts we have no create group why because of that hierarchy level no if you still remember we set the hierarchy level with folder and item so that's why in categories there is all there is now a create group no for for the user to create a group so but 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 this folder income and then this transfer that we create is what we call the predefined so meaning uh, uh that is already there when you run or when the user use our uh, application it is already there they don't need to create for that folder but they can add another folder that they want to use besides uh, the one that we create as predefined, like expense, income, and transfer. So we the, the data is not present here yet. No, because we all we all we only create the meta we use only or to create the metadata class and then the metadata object. Okay, the, the the catalog and the object categories, the data must be input by the end user. But also as, as our example, we need to, to have a sample for expenses. So for example, highlight the expenses, then click create. So we can choose here the uh, parent, show all, no, saan ba siya, expenses or income. No, but the description is the most important. What is the description? Food. Yeah. So let us try click save and close without uh, putting anything in the parent and the code. Save and close. So you see what is happen. So hindi siya or it will not happen to be under expenses. Why? Because we did not choose the parent. No, the parent here. No, click show all. And then that is for expenses. So select and then save and close. So it's already under the expenses. That is the hierarchy. No, we have the item, the folder, and the item as our hierarchy. So our example for our data is. Let us run this one. Then you may add it on your uh, 
created application. So under expenses, I have appliances, fair food. So it's up to you what kind of expenses you have. Maybe you have a, a house rental, a phone bills, electric bills, groceries. Uh, that is the data that we need, a list of data that uh, we need or need by the users to access every time they use this application. So for the income, uh, I use salary, tip, part-time job, etc. So let us try it to put in our uh, application. So for the income, let us create. So income and then salary. Let us add uh, tip. Yeah, maraming nagtitip sa akin because they love me. Actually, what uh, there is so many. Sometimes uh, when I talk, they give uh, some a uh, token of appreciation, uh, like gift. Yeah. Yeah. So that so sometimes there is also a small amount of money. Uh, but in our categories income, yeah, let us use salary tip, and then you may add another data for your list of categories under income. So it's up to you. But for this transfer, this is already an item. It's not a folder, but this is an item. So if you'll notice when we create, there is no uh, option for trans transfer, just expenses and income. So I hope you followed my step-by-step -step tutorial for today. So that is how 1C Enterprise platform for our first session and second session of 1C Enterprise. And before we end up, of course, let us have our quiz. Maybe there is a some prize to be given by our uh, boss, Sir Joey, for this quiz time. But yeah. is there any question before we uh, do this quiz time? So that's the end of my tutorial for this day. Thank you, Sir Ricky. Uh, that was fast. <laughs> yes, yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so supposedly we have two parts, but uh, you know, <laughs> but it's okay. All right, so before we proceed with the quiz, okay, so uh, as mentioned by Sariki, so we'll be having a bit of a review. So as mentioned earlier, our topics for today were about installation, uh, terminologies, uh, info base, and catalog. So Sariki discussed installation, and then how to create InfoBase, discuss uh, or define what is InfoBase, and then uh, about uh, backing up and restoring InfoBase. Okay, so we also focused on the configuration, which is the metadata window. Okay, so, so what's nice is uh, Sariki highlighted uh, the similarity with 1C platform uh, with other programming languages such as Visual Studio. So as, as we noticed, uh, the configuration or meta, a metadata window could be, uh, can be compared to Toolbox or Solution Explorer of uh, Visual Studio, as well as the property palette, which is equivalent to the properties window of Visual Studio. Okay, and then... Um, uh, Sariki also mentioned about Hello World. So, uh, so uh, we were used to creating Hello World by coding, you know, for example, uh, with um, DOS-based applications like Turbo C, or uh, if we are using uh, the uh, like CMD uh, window of Java. So we'll be supposedly we'll be using. Uh, uh, print uh, codes, okay, and then for uh, uh, Visual Studio when we're using uh, OOP, so most likely we will just uh, create a button and then uh, do a little code, and then the hello world would appear. 
But what happened with Once Enterprise, so Ricky, what happened with our Hello World? So we were able to create a simple program with the Hello World. So imagine how easy it is to use One C Enterprise platform. Okay. And then, yeah, that was, that was too fast. So uh, uh, Sir Ricky also discussed the user interface and the catalog. Okay, so more of this will actually be uh, discussed in detail on one C skills camp. But what we are trying to do is to help you familiarize familiarize with 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 all with all these topics. All right. So when we are when we will begin with one C skills camp, so you're ready. Okay, you're ready to for the battle. Okay. And then okay, so let's. Uh, uh, so Ricky, are we proceeding with the quiz or uh, or if they have or if the participants have any questions? Uh, I have read the chat of April Tonsonia. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Sir, sorry, paano po ulit maglagay ng expenses like food? April, do we need to, ano, okay na daw po. Yeah. All right. So sabi po ni Oh, hindi na natin ulitin because nakuha na po ni April. And Ma'am Rose Maria Besha, good afternoon na uh, best of. Thank you for listening. And nakakali gawin, great congratulations. Uh, thank you Ma'am uh, Besha. I hope you will proceed to until the skills come. And Sir Paolo, yeah, tapos na daw ba? Nag-brown out. Nakabalik lang. Ayan sir, meron naman po tayong video recorded. I know. You can still watch this uh, session or episode, right, sir? Yes, sir. So let us now have our quiz. So of course, uh, we need to determine, sir, if our uh, participants uh, really understand and recall what they have seen or viewed or listened. Yes, sir. I agree. Yeah. Let's proceed. Uh, uh, excited daw po si Ma'am Rosemary Abesha. So forgive me for my, my English version. Uh, actually, I tried my best to be as fluent and as easy for you to understand. But if there is a uh, wrong in my grammar, forgive me. I'm not a major in English. Okay, sir, that is only a <clears throat> commercial. And thank you for those who listen and stay uh, until this time for 23. Okay, so let us have now our quiz and any more questions or clarifications, violent reactions. <laughs> and so as you notice, no, we, we don't uh, write any single line of code in uh, uh, on the first part that we I, I have shown to you or demonstrate. And that is our target within this uh, Possession uh, until the third day that we're not going to write any single line of code. But of course, uh, if we want to create a better, uh, we need to uh, add additional code, of course, for the logic to work. No? Okay. So, not everything should be created automatically by the ones enterprise, but yeah, a simple application can be done in one C enterprise platform, even uh, if, if you are an expert in using one C enterprise platform, even in one or two days, you have a mobile application, not only for the desktop, but also for the web browser. And so there is no more question. So other part, or objects for the metadata window na nakita natin will be discussed next week. Okay, if you have no more question, let us now have our quiz. Sir Joey, is there any price here for our quiz time? Uh, sure. <laughs> no, it will really depend, sir. So we, may, we may have cash price. Okay, thank surprise. you, sir. Surprise, Gcash. <laughs> Okay, so again, you must log in using the code. No, we have 16 participants here using our class point that up uh, using the code 27846. If you're not yet uh, log in, you mean log in now. 
no, you may join so that you may ano, participate and have some prizes, small token of participation. Okay, no more. Only 16 participants. Uh, do I need to refresh a new class code so that I may say, oh, it, it's working because it uh, has ano, additional participants, 17. Uh, no more? Okay, no more? Okay, so the, the question is composed only by five questions coming from uh, the first episode and second episode and I only get one question from this uh, session the, today. No? Okay, so let us now start. Yeah. So from the orientation, so here is the first question. 1C Enterprise works in, yan, saan kaya siya nag-work? Saan gumagana? A, cloud, B, mobile, C, desktop, or D, all of the ABA? Yan, so A, B, C, or D. So you have uh, 30, 30 seconds to answer. And so there is... Uh, C and D, we have 17 participants, correct? Only 11, 12, 13. Kapot po tayo, 8 seconds, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 2, 1. Yan. So sorry po dun sa mga <laughs> hindi na umabot. So the most frequently answer is letter D. So let us show the correct answer. There, is, there are two participants who answered letter Z. Ayan. So of course, the correct answer is all of the above. Uh, it can work on mobile, on desktop, and in our web browser. Okay, so let us see. Sino kaya yung mabilis sumagot na tatlo? Ayan. Actually, hanggang anim pala. But congratulations to Natalie with, with 1,000 points. Oh, tie with MJ. 1,000 points, Sir Paulo, I guess. 992 points. Ellison, 977. Ayan. So, hanggang top 6, si Joshua De Guzman. Okay, let us now move to the next question. Ayan. What is the focus of our part 2? Ayan. If, if you watch uh, the orientation, ano... And it, it, it was mentioned there that the part two is A, about 1Z Enterprise Platform, B, usage of 1Z Enterprise Training Version, C, deal with the licensed version of 1Z Enterprise, and D, actual details of 1Z Skills come 2022. A, B, C, or D. Wow, so there are... Uh, Multiple answers, A, B, D. No one answer, letter C. So six, seven, eight, nine, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Where are the others? So 11, 11 participants answered A, B, C, D, A, B, D, around C. And 12 participants, where are the five remaining participants who joined this uh, quiz? Okay, so. The uh, answer is -da 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 -da, letter B, of course. Yan. So that is Joshua de Guzman, ang ating uh, nangunguna. And followed by Ivan, Ellison, si, Sir, si Pao, Paulo ay pangkwart na na. Okay. So let us close. So third question. Uh, galing pa rin to sa ating hashtag orientation. What is the title of the app that we are going to demonstrate for this tutorial? Actually, we already demonstrate, no? So, A, My Money App, B, Once Enterprise Training Version, C, Once Enterprise License Version, or D, Inventory App. A, B, C, or D? Ayan, ang bibilis nila sa mga, no? So they answered A, B, C. Walang sumugod sa letter D. Uh, 13 participants. But 10 participants answered 
uh, letter A, no? Meron pa ba? Gusto mga ball? We have still four participants based on the, the registered participant. Okay, so the correct answer is letter A. Oh, thank you sa mga nakinig na sampo. Ano? Kung naging title ng ating uh, uh, app ay naiba, doon sa iba. Okay, so ang title po ng ating pinakitang app ay My Money, My Money App. Okay, so first si Joshua De Guzman with 2964, followed by Ellison and Ivan. So next question from hashtag 1C Enterprise. No? So doon galing yung tanong na to, no? He showed us a demonstration on 1C Enterprise development from the last week session. No? Besides me, no? before me, meron pang isang nag-develop or nag-demonstrate ng kanyang uh, uh, applied solutions using one enterprise platform and natapos nga niya no? in just uh, an hour maybe A. Is it Joey? B. Carlo? C. Tony? Or D. Eugene? A, B, C, or D. Cash your votes. Yan. Tingnan natin sino talaga yung nanood nung mga nakaraang episode natin. Yan. So maraming Sumagot sa C, sa D meron din, at saka sa A. Walang sumagot sa B. Baka yun yung tamang sagot. Ha? Anong yung sagot na uh, option sa atin sa B? Ah, Sir Carlo. Walang gusto kay Sir Carlo. O oh, dahil hindi talaga si Sir Carlo pala yun. Ayan. Ayan. So sorry dun sa mga hindi na nakahabol. We have... Tan -tan -tan -tan. Ayan, nanood talaga sila. No? That is uh, Sir Tony. So he demonstrate us that application. Uh, but before that, before I forget, no, your assignment uh, is to follow this demonstration. No? I, I will pick one participant who can showcase the output created by Sir T Tony until ano uh, catalogs or if you can do it and you can explain it further you may do so but it's okay if you can do it up to catalogs only okay so sino na muna okay si Joshua pa rin no? with anong point si Joshua na syempre <laughs> <laughs> Sana lang yung question natin natitira, no? Si Joshua pa rin kaya ang manatiling number one, no? With 3961, taas ang score niya, no? Ellison is 3933, konti lang, no? Kaya pa. The, yes, one who answered, the one who answered letter A has a special prize. Yes. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. <laughs> Joey. <laughs> uh, maraming sumagot, Joey, sir. One, just one. <laughs> okay. Oh, and for the last question, kasi mabibili sila sir sumagot eh, no? Talagang mm -hmm. nakikinig sila at nanukod from uh, last episode natin. Ito na yung tanong para sa ating uh, session for today, no? It contains not only the data the user works with, but also the program. Ano kaya yan? Sinabi ko yung kagina, no? It contains not only the data the user works with, but also the program. Is it A, once enterprise platform, B, infobase, C, configuration, or D, catalog? A, B, C, or D? Wow! Wala sumukot sa ibang letter, ha? It's letter B. Ah, meron na. So, wakat na isa. Naligaw. Letter D. O baka yung mga letter B ang naligaw? <laughs> Yeah, we have 14 seconds. 12 pa lang yung nagkakasampong. 17 yung nag-participate. Asa na kaya yung lima? Uh, yeah. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Yeah. Sino kaya yung mabilis na sumagot? Of course, obviously, the answer is letter B. Ay, mali yung ano ka napili ka. Sorry. Tama ba? Oh, mali, mali yun. Ah, ang sagot is letter B. Mali yung pagkaset ko ng correct answer. Patawad? Paano ngayon yan? Hindi, natin, hindi ko pala makikita yung ano? The, those who won. 
Siguro. <laughs> Patawarin mo ako siya. <laughs> no, hindi ko na change yung correct answer, but the correct answer is okay, infobase. Yeah. Uh, infobase, hindi tayo maliligaw dyan. Tamang sagot ng paramihan. Yun lang, hindi natin alaman. Napaka-corny ni Sir Ricky, hindi nalaman yung final answer kung kung naungusan ba ni Ellison si Joshua. No. Ah, nandito si Mama Bella. Mama Bella, meron bang solusyon dito sa ating class point? Kasi siya yung ano dito. Uh, Mahusay si Mama Bella sa class point. Ayan. So, okay lang ba sir? Yun na yung result ng ating ano, ng leaderboard. Si Joshua. Or ni Kuno. Masalanan ko to eh. So, di, so this is the overall sir. Joshua... Joshua, Ellison, and, and Paolo. Third, hanggang third po yung meron. Ah, pwede na. <laughs> so Pero ang nanong ay si Joshua. Yeah, so we have Joshua. Joshua po, na, na. We have okay. Joshua, Ellison, and Sir Paul. Okay. Pero pag tinignan ko pala, sir, no, kasi yung points is pabilisan lang siya, pero ang percentage, no, pantay-pantay yung apat, hmm. 80%. They got correct answer. Okay. Uh, okay, so it's it's the correctness and the speed. Kaya yes. po naging third traffic. No. Okay. Okay, congratulations sa mga nag-participate lalo dito sa yeah. top 6 natin. Halatang okay. nakikinig. Po. Yeah. Ayan, so before I leave, ayan, iwan ako sa inyo itong aking laging favorite na iwan sa aking mga Audience, your future is created by what you do today, not tomorrow. So your step na ginawa today, yeah, I know it will bring you to a good future with Watsi Enterprise Platform. Thank you, sir. Thank you po sa inyo lahat. All right. So thank you, sir, Ricky. So before we end, uh, uh, counting uh, notes lang po. Uh, ah, sorry. We have some notes. Okay, so if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, um, uh, you may uh, join our uh, support uh, groups via WhatsApp and Facebook, and then uh, and our email one camp at gmail.com. Again, that is one camp at gmail.com if you have any questions, comments, suggestions. You could also message us at Facebook or Instagram at One C Skills, and then uh, okay. So I'd like I'd just like to thank everyone. Uh, okay, we have uh, AJ Nicole, April, uh, Carl, uh, sorry, Carl of course, Ellison, Harold, uh, Jason, Joshua, Joshua, Lucy, Ivan, Paul, Martin, Mika, Natalie, Sir Paulo, Reina, Abigail. Rhea, Sir Ricky, thank you very much, Mom Rose, and Wish. Okay, and then um, please, if you have been received an email, so please inform us ngayon sa chat, uh, today at the chat box or uh, for some participants who will watch this uh, via our YouTube, uh, One Skills YouTube channel and our Facebook page. So please just send an email to onecskillscamp at gmail.com or message us at Facebook and Instagram at onecskills. Okay, and then, uh, okay, so we will, uh, Sir Ricky, uh, I hope it's okay to provide us yung, uh, power, to provide the participants with a PowerPoint show, okay? And then um, the Facebook and YouTube links will be sent via email din po. And then, uh, yeah, that's it. Okay, so for next week, okay, so what's next on... So what's next on gearing up for One C Skills Camp 2022? So we will be having uh, our sorry, that's episode four hashtag One C Enterprise second session, and then the continuation of my app. Uh, we will be also discussing documents, accumulation register, and reports. And then, uh, Sir Carlo, I just like to confirm. So we can we take a, a group picture? Possible, Puba? Is it possible? Uh, yes, sir. Okay. So uh, uh, please um, 
participants, if you have your uh, cameras, so we will take a group picture lang po. Again, uh, thank you very much. And congratulations to some uh, winners, Karina. But I still need to share it again. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. All right. So, so once again, uh, for for our participants who were able to join us at this time, so please, uh, uh, we will send uh, the Facebook and YouTube links via email. So, if you have any questions, please message us at Facebook or Instagram at One C Skills or at One C Skills Camp One C Skills Camp at Gmail .com. All right, so this has been uh, episode three, Once Enterprise, a uh, first session of Gearing Up for Once Skills Camp 2022. Thank you very much, everyone. Stay safe and healthy. See you next week. Thank you very much, Sir Ricky. And it's for Carlo and to all our participants. Thank you, sir. Have a great week. Uh, it's still recorded, Sir Carlo and Dina. Sir? Dina po recorded. <laughs>